Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit little guide about combat and uh, guns and mechanics of all around it. So for starts so let's go to the weapons that we have at our disposal. So we have melee weapons which we can use in combat knife. Also there are different kinds of knives, but basically only this one is let's say doing a little bit less damage. We also have this thing, which is for sharpening knives and axes. Axes also can be used in combat, crowbars, and so on. So majority of tools. We have, uh, besides it, we have different kind of guns. We have a flare gun. We have revolvers. So let's take some ammo also for everyone. We're gonna try them out. We have a well, also which can use bow because uh, bullets are spares and the majority of hunting you will do with the bow and arrow especially at higher difficulties depending on how much have you set the loot drop and so on so we're gonna take some arrows also there are two different kind of arrows besides that flares can be also used in combat they scare wolves so it is a very good idea to have them we're gonna this take this one handy. thing with us for repairing items, also some bullets for the guns, and that is the majority of offensive items you have at disposal for hunting and so on. Combat in general, whether you are hunting, whether you are defending yourself, whatever. I suggest you there are two type, three types of uh, behavior from animals in this game. So first things we have uh, predators, which are wolves and bears, they will attack you generally. Let's just wait here a little bit until it's daylight, let's say for three hours. A majority, a majority of uh, animals won't be spawned uh, on the map during the night, so keep that in mind when you're hunting. So now let's say we have light fog, but as I was saying, we have uh, three different types of uh, behavior. We have predators, which comes in shape of wolves. We can see here wolf. I'm gonna try to hunt for them. I suggest you attack predators with the uh, rifle, especially at higher levels. They can, even if you had shot bear, he can fall in one bullet. So it's sudden range. Predators will detect you, your scent. If you press tab, you can see if you have strong or not scent. Now we're gonna try melee first, let's say, for the start. We're gonna let him attack us. It is one form of defending. It is one form of combat. He's gonna attack us. We chose a weapon. And then we fight with him. And this way, as you can see, he said, he's managed to afflict our hand. We're gonna use this. But we also stab him with a knife, so he has run away. Now, we're gonna try the gun, the bow, and the. Rifle, of course. Let me show you. This is the gun that's. This is the weapon that scares every animal. You just shoot them, whatever, and they will be scared. Okay, majority of them. You can see we have shot him. He's scared and running away. Every time you sh shot a bullet, it will scare them additionally. Also, when you reload, gun will uh, drop and. Uh, casing so you can pick them up for later use if you have gunpowder and so on now let me show you the capabilities of the gun we're gonna try to track some bear or deer bears in general will just move they won't attack you unless you get close to them then they will charge you eventually they will reach you but uh, if you run away if you just see them just run away from them and they won't present any problem from you, they won't chase you. 
when you're uh, hunting them, I would suggest you stay near the... One good tactics for uh, hunting bear is you find a place like this, where you know the bear will come through. Like I know, down there is a car, and the bear will be walking there from time to time. And I just par park myself near the car. I shoot the bear. And he charges me. I go into vehicle and it kills his charging route and he goes on by his way. And then I exit vehicle again and shoot him. And I repeat the process until he's dead. So I have killed majorities or even a building can be suitable for that kind of uh, plan. So you just enter a building, exit and so on. So this is a very good uh, tip for using, uh, for getting a bear. Also rabbits, like you see. Uh, only animal you don't you can pick up I and carry with this. you uh, whole carcass. Rest of the animals you have to skin uh, at the point where you have to kill them. There are uh, also I wouldn't suggest you to hunt rabbits with uh, bullets, set snares for them. They are easily made and uh, can be produced with a little bit of string and a uh, little bit of wood. Now you have a. Uh, you will encounter, you have bear or you have wolf or rabbit, whatever you encounter when you harvest it. You will have uh, three things to harvest. Gut, which is useful in crafting for uh, strings for, uh, let's say, bows or uh, strings for uh, hooks for fishing and so on. Hide is also very good. You can make very high quality items if you are liking clothing items through this way. Maybe a little bit heavy, but very quality. And meat, of course. Once again, some meat are better avoided than eaten everything takes uh, time you can set how much you want of it large animals have one hide but have they have like more gut and more meat here is also you can have change tools which you want to do it it uh, changes your time how much it takes and how much calories will you spend in that time so basically my one big advice would for you would you avoid the bears unless you're I'm saying near cars and something like that also wolves can come in size uh, in packs in the world mountain and some areas so they're called timber wolves they have different mechanics than regular wolves when they attack you so be very very careful when traveling through area through that, uh, those areas if you see a pack of them just carry a few blue flares with you at all the time and at least a gun so they can um, easily overwhelm you depending on what uh, what kind of uh, difficulty settings are you playing when uh, you shoot some animal and it, it escapes it will have also a blood trail in a snow so you can follow it if it wanted it will stop or it will die at some point when you see any kind of carcass around, it is a good indicator you will see crows, which will fly and, uh, around the carcasses. So it can be a good indicator like you're in the woods, in woods and you see crows flying that there is a carcass you shoot and wanted that the animal died and you just need to skin it. Also on the map, there are some areas where uh, it's teeming with wildlife like you see here you can get uh, rabbits or uh, well, here I think but it is uh, you have to mark it you have uh, like deer good deer uh, spawning ground also in places like this you can find the uh, deers for sure nearby but uh, be careful woods are full of wolves and uh, again depending on your difficulty settings they can be troublesome if you are lacking a firearm or you just have like bow it can be effective but it can be troublesome if you miss them you see we are hearing the crows so somewhere nearby is like a carcass it can also be frozen human but There they are. So, they are pointing there. Also, it can be some kind of, uh, let's say, bear has killed a deer or a wolf has uh, killed a rabbit or a deer or whatever. 
and uh, you can skin skin it for leftovers. Also, it is uh, you can drop uh, bait for uh, animals when they chase you, like you're carrying a meat. You just drop it, and you the predators will stop chasing you and will focus on eating meat, and you can run away. So it is pretty easy. We have dropped the rabbit, as you can see. Number three at the default and the predators will stay and eat it so also one thing when you're shooting crouch it will stay there your aim no matter whether you're using a bow or you're using a firearm also when you're exhausted wait a little bit wind also affects how animals smell you so you should try going in the way they cannot scent you Let's. Oh, it's not reloaded. I'm gonna try this one since we're so close. Nope. <laughs> no more shells. No, but we're gonna take a gun. So, uh, as you can see, animals won't run away far unless you chase them all the time but you can stop and they will stop eventually and return to their normal behavior so you can stop, sneak up on them again as you can see this was probably a critical shot since it killed the animal in one shot usually it takes two shots or for some time for animal to bleed out also headshots kill everything including bear if you're lucky so we can skin it the same way as the rabbit, only it contains, as you can see, mounts, or we can skin it for a part of it, let's say quarter. Just give it a sec. This can be really useful. Yeah. So, we can carry this, and we can have, harvest it later inside. Also, if you're do, doing harvesting and takes time, light fire near you. Because uh, if wolves come, they will smell it and will camp, but uh, fire will keep them away. The same as I said, flare or you need to light it and wolves will keep away. Also, if wolf attack you, you can just slowly back away from him. He will do not turn your back on him. He will follow you but won't attack you. So keep that in mind for, well, like say, we're going to the house and wolf surprises us. All you have to do is slowly walk to the house and he won't attack you. So guys, I hope you will find this tutorial useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, subscribe. We're gonna add more tutorials for this game. So you wouldn't miss out. I hope you have fun. And see you all soon.